had to reshoot this a few times because I didn't realize that there was my dad's samurai sword in it. And I didn't want to scare off any potential viewers. This week, instead of alcohol, I poured myself a green juice to solidify my basic bitch title. But don't worry, that doesn't mean I'm on the wagon. National Tequila Day was on Friday, so I kind of just made it a, a weekend thing, so <laughs> here we are. I know it's been a few weeks since I graced your screens with my radio face. That's because there's been a few big things going on in my life. The biggest being I moved back home at 28 due to COVID. It's been great. It's been so fun. Fortunately for me, not much has been going on in the Bravo sphere due to COVID, so I don't have too much to report on. One of the biggest highlights has to do with Shannon Bedore. So a few things about this. One, Shannon Bedore's entire family contracted COVID, which isn't much of a surprise since they have been all over Orange County almost asking to be infected. But the even crazier part is her ex-husband David impregnated another woman. Let's just hope this entire thing has been filmed because we all know that Shannon Bedore is on a brink of a breakdown now. Now for anyone who's a little bit concerned about what we're going to do after Roni and the Royal Housewives of Beverly Hills comes to an end, don't fret, we still have a lot to look forward to. One, Mark your calendars because August 2nd, The Real Hazards of Potomac comes back, which I've heard this season's gonna be a doozy, so get ready. It's also been confirmed that The Real Hazards of Dallas and New Jersey are currently filming, so producers, let's get on it. Hire me, hire anyone off the street. We don't care what this material looks like, what these edits look like. The Bravo Sphere is begging you, just please, please get us new content soon. We'll die without it. For anyone watching who has any idea what's going on with the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, can you let a girl know? They were talking about it in November that it was filmed, so Andy, when's it coming? And finally, we had to talk about this whole Denise, Brandy, Aaron, love triangle, lung tryst. I don't really know what to call it, but it's a shit show. Denise hasn't been too active on social media, but she did post the following to her Instagram account. I mean, I guess we have to wait and see, but I'm starting to believe Brandy on this. As these housewives say time and time again, Brandy might be a bitch, but she's not a liar. Thank you for tuning in to Sipping the Rosé with Katie B. Now please enjoy some extra footage from my interview with Polly B. Good, I, I can't put that in. I can't. <laughs> and you also need a job after this. Paul, I don't know if I'm calling you dad or Paul. For Please pay that, attention. I am paying attention. Okay, so next up, we're gonna be playing Plead the Fifth. Now, if you're a fan of the show, Andy Cohen plays this with all of his favorite guests. This game is when I will give out three questions. You can plead the fifth to only one. Do you understand? I understand. First up. You have two pets, a cat, Jovi, and a dog, Charlie. Now, the question is, do you prefer cats or dogs? <laughs> That's a tough question. I know. I like both of them. Yeah, they're kind of equal. I, I don't. It's not, it's not a question of I don't mind choosing, but it's before I met Jovi, it would have just def definitely been dogs. Oh. Okay. Next up, would you rather be quarantined with Jax Taylor or Tom Sandoval? Well, that's a tough question because they're both very desirable. <laughs> but um, I would have to probably lean toward Tom. Jax probably has better stories, but I still go with the person who makes better cocktails. And third, now again, you can plead the fifth, but I'd rather you not on this one. You have two kids, Katie and Ashley. Which one's your favorite? Ashley! I didn't even finish! Uh oh, what was the question? Which one is your favorite? Yeah, Ashley. <laughs> well, that's a wrap on plead the fifth. <laughs> Thank you, Polly B. Okay, to end this charming segment, I have one final question. What would be your last words on your deathbed? Okay, that's an easy one. Only on Bravo. <laughs>